Welcome to Market News with Melvin. I'm your host, Melvin. We are going to be looking at some new unemployment data, BUSD, our favorite shriveled up left testicle, Gary Gensler, the new and approved Bitcoin ETF, and upcoming market data. Starting off with unemployment data. Private payroll rose by 177,000 in August, down from revised 371,000 in prior month, according to the payroll services firm ADP on Wednesday. Key details, the slowdown in job growth was driven by leisure and hospitality categories. Job creation in hotels, restaurants fell to 30,000 in August. Big picture, the softness of report adds a sense that the economy is slowing down a bit, something the Federal Reserve officials would welcome what they said, and I quote, beyond looking at seasonal volatility, the trend in ADP data shows labor market is still growing moderately, with only hints of cooling, said economist. Next up is Binance's stablecoin, BUSD. As you can see, Paxos will end BUSD redemption by February 2024, and Binance will gradually stop support for BUSD by then. So, take that how you will. Not necessarily the best news. Definitely not good news. And next up is the Bitcoin Spot ETF. On August 29th, the U.S. District of Columbia Court of Appeals ruled that the SEC, or Security and Exchange Commission, or also known as our favorite shriveled up left testicle, Gary Gensler, was incorrect in ruling against or rejecting the spot ETF. Now, I did go ahead and highlight some portions of the article. If you want to read, you can either pause the video, or I left a link down below. But basically what it goes over is our boy Gary was saying that Grayscale spot ETF was not able to protect investors, but it doesn't make sense because there's a CME features that has been approved by the SEC. And what they showed in court was that Grayscale is operating similarly to the CME features, thus overruling the SEC. Now, the only thing left to really know is that they do have 45 days to appeal this ruling. Should they appeal, then the case is going to go to the Supreme Court. Finally, we have Core PCE coming in tomorrow, Thursday, August 31st. Our previous reading was 4.1% for the month of June. We are getting the month of July. The consensus is about 4.2%. So the forecast is 4%. So ideally, we want to see 4% or under. Uh, If we don't, there's a chance that you do see the markets end up reacting poorly to that. But if it comes in as expected, if not better, then most likely we should see a move back towards the upside. Other than that, tune in next week for Market News with Melvin.